The idea of today is to get all the primary schools on Aran together in one room, celebrating everything green and environmental here. I'm part of the smoothie bike, so the kids get to go on the bike and that powers a blender, which then makes smoothies. Um, what I'm doing is telling them about a competition that we're doing. Um, we're asking them to design a poster for the Food Share, which is a scheme between the co-op and EcoSavvy. Um, where we're trying to re-divert food that would normally be going in the bin. We get it at the end of the day and it's coming up to its sell by date and they can't sell it. So we're trying to distribute it to folk that would eat it or be able to use it or cook it or whatever they can find use or feed it to their animals, anything like that. Um, and we're trying to get the kids involved with the competition to design a logo which we can then use to promote the food share between Aaron, EcoSavvy and the co-op. And they can win £150 for the school and then have their poster all over the island, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, so I'm an energy auditor. We offer free home energy audits around Aaron. Um, we've done over almost 200 households at the moment. We're talking to renewables, low-cost solutions like draft proofing um, and promoting solar panels. So with the children today, I'm working with Alan from Home Energy Scotland and we're doing an energy monopoly and showing them draft excluders, pens, and the monopoly game is gives you land on water charges, fuel bills, or you can get money if you save money on your bills. Basically here today representing the Eco Savvy shop. Um, we've got quite a few products in now that really, to give alternatives to plastic that we've been talking to the kids about. Um, so one of the things, for example, is the, the bamboo toothbrush. Um, every year there's about 140 million plastic toothbrushes go into landfill. So again, to have the bamboo toothbrush as an alternative, once you finish with it, it all just breaks back down, back into the soil again. And there's, there's other products like soap, again, instead of having plastic bottles of soap, that's all just wrapped in paper, same with the toilet rolls, and just kind of reusable coffee cups that are made out of bamboo as well. So we're just really trying to get the children to, to think about what they're using in everyday life, and if we can find alternatives to it, then, then all is good. So if everyone does a wee bit, then it all adds up to a whole lot, really. Worms have been on this planet for 600 million years, and without them, we wouldn't be here because they make the soil uh, and keep on doing it all the time, day in, day out. So that's why soil grows. They digest the leaves and all the decaying matter and give us the nice soil that the plants want to grow in. So they, they like it a little bit smelly. Really just trying to speak to the kids about the different plastics that can be recycled in the blue bin. Obviously all your plastic foils and liners can no longer get recycled so it's really just trying to kind of educate them with that. The school children create an ocean of plastic to take back to their school with them. Um, the idea is it's highlighting to them what litter ends up in the ocean. Also letting their imaginations run free with what animals you might find in the sea. So this one was done um, by Francis Westwood for us um, as a donation to Coast and the children can use it to inspire them and then they've taken them back to the schools to put on display. We have a pupil council and part of that is doing some having an eco committee but we're now having a, an island cluster eco committee so that all the schools can can work together. Well an eco rep is basically we I will go to a meeting if once or twice a term and we'll discuss what our ideas are so we can make our school better because we put in for a green, green flag award. So all the schools are going to work together. So I'll go back to my school once we've discussed the ideas and we'll ask, I'll, I'll tell everyone and we'll get ideas of how to do it. And what have you seen here today that given you ideas? Maybe we could start, try the pedals with the smoothies. We can maybe put in a school poster for the food waste and we also do composting to help our food waste. Do you? Do you have your own worm farm? No, not not yet. We'll tr I think we can discuss that with our school. And But we do grow our own vegetables and they get used in our school kitchen. We grow garden peas, potatoes and carrots. School. At the moment we have paper recycling bins in all our classrooms and we children use them 
uh, regularly. We also, at the moment, we're saving up our crisp packets because we know they can't be, go in the blue bin, so they're being sent to the high school as part of their um, eco drive. All the schools on the island just now have got a huge focus on plastic. They were really engaged in the Nastro tour and that sort of filtered down to recycling bottle tops, bringing the bottle tops in to send away, contact lenses, things like that. So we're trying to look at all the things that everyday objects that we can bring in and send away to be you know, either reused or recycled. And what are you hoping the children will get out of today? Well, I'm hoping that they can come away with some ideas that we can do in school and also knowledge. I mean, I'm learning already, just being at the first stall, the council stall in Blue Bin and Black Bin. Um, so really just so that they can increase their knowledge and, and take it into their future lives.